It's the night before Thanksgiving, and if you haven't made your pumpkin pie yet, don't fret. If you like to have that pumpkin pie flavor, but you don't have time to make the crust, you might want to try this dip. I've started by putting an eight ounce package of softened cream cheese. It's actually just room temperature into a bowl. I whipped it up so that it's nice and creamy and smooth. And then I'm going to add two cups of sifted powder sugar. Now I've already measured one cup into my sifter. I've got the other cup. And when a recipe asks for two cups of sifted powdered sugar, it means that you sift a bunch and then measure out the two cups. But if the recipe says two cups powdered sugar sifted, then you just measure your two cups of powdered sugar out and then sift it up. And actually, I'm going to sift it right into my bowl of cream cheese here. There we go. I'm also going to add a 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin puree. Now I'm just going to mix this up so that the powdered sugar gets incorporated into the mixture and it starts to get smooth. And then I'm going to add my spices. About a teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of ground cloves, and a half teaspoon of ground ginger. But if you have your favorite pumpkin pie spices, just use those. Now the powdered sugar is becoming just incorporated nicely in there. So I'm gonna turn up the speed and just really beat it until it gets nice and smooth. I've scraped down the sides of the bowl and I'm going to just sprinkle in my cinnamon, ground cloves, and ground ginger. And once I've got it mixed well into my pumpkin mixture, it will be ready to go into the refrigerator for about eight hours. So you can make it right now, put it in the refrigerator, and by tomorrow dessert time, it'll be a great dip that'll be just so flavorful. I've got this creamy pumpkin pie dip into a bowl. And if you want to just kick it up and make a little bit fancier dessert, you can fold in about two cups of whipped cream into this cream cheese pumpkin mixture and then pipe it into some pretty dessert dishes and you have a wonderful dessert. Maybe sprinkle a little more spice on top. It's beautiful and tasty pumpkin pie without the crust and you've still got time to prepare it before tomorrow's dinner. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm Sue Doden and now we're cooking.